welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff and I just want to say I am so happy to be part of this project with Nico Hinojosa and Pedro Vadar. I'm looking forward so much to working on this song that's that's so mystical, you know. The song it's talking to me about how we we can change the stars we can change the um the world that we're in even though it seems like that should not be true but i do believe it's true that there's something about the way that we can relate with life that changes uh everything that's given more love is more radiant is more full of its its own potential and so I'm working on like finding the the miracle in the song for me, a way to bring that magic of Nikos back to you in English. And um, it's not easy <laughs> because he did such a beautiful job in Spanish and Spanish is such a poetic language. But I wanted to just say to you that, you know, this project is bringing me back home to Mexico. And when I say that, what I mean is that my daughter was born in Cuernavaca and I was pregnant there in Tepotzlan and Amatlan de, del Quetzalcoatl. And um, this time period was a miracle time period for me of um, more than 30 people saving my daughter's life because I was giving birth three months early and I was going to lose her and I was having contractions every night um, for three months I had to stay bedridden with my legs tied together to make her survive so to stop those contractions I know this is weird to talk about right now but this is this is such a big deal because the people of that region saved my daughter's life so many people so a different person came every day to help me stop the contractions a different healer some healers came three times some was like you know they would do with me like um, hypnosis and another one would do meditation and another one would do uh, therapy and another one would do uh, shamanic healing work and there was a curandera who gave me this plant this incredible plant that was fuchsia in the water when you when you cooked it uh, but it, and it relaxed the womb so you don't have as strong contractions <laughs> but the thing is you needed gold fresh gold every day to cook this 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 tea with and so my husband at the time had to go all over looking for a new gold ring of a new woman who would let these strange gringos take this ring and cook it in this brew to save our daughter's life. So if you think of the 30 or so healers, all the women who gave their, their rings, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, countless doctors, and this daughter of mine would never have survived if it weren't for the people of Tepotzlan and Amatlan del Quetzalcoatl and Cuernavaca. Uh, so to be part of this project, it's bringing me back to this milagro, this miracle time, this miracle place that I've missed so much. It's been, wow, my daughter's 22 now. We left when she was five. She was fluent in Spanish at the time. And um, now I'm coming home to this magic place. And this place here is where I'm building a sanctuary um, for artists to come and do retreats and healing time. So maybe you'll come. <laughs> so much love and so many incredible artists as part of this project. I'm, I'm so thankful to be part of this and to be allowed to be allowed to, you know, sing back to Nico and Pedro Vadar back the magic they've brought us. Sorry for all the cars today. This is a little public beach here up on the mountain of Lotus Lake. So beautiful to be alive, isn't it? <laughs> okay, very good. Mwah.